Come and worship. Come and worship. Come and worship wherever you are. Come and worship with us. We still can come into a place together where we gather and we can worship the Lord because his footstool is that that is wicked and evil and he's above it, his name. He's above it. Before I took a breath, you breathed your life in me. Jesus. You have been so, so kind to me. Before I spoke a word, you were singing over me. You have been so, so good.
your breath in our lungs. So we pour our praise to you. It's your breath in your love. It's your breath. It's your breath. everybody welcome everybody to our live service praise the Lord can we give a clap offering to the Lord for this beautiful worship time in the house of God thank you so much Jada here we are our Sunday service we want to welcome cross point watching us live this is our first service in our church uh, since the confinement so we are believing that soon we're working hard, our team is working hard so we can start reopening and I have you guys come for our services in the house. Praise the Lord, amen. amen. Praise God. We're going to get right into the word of God and uh, today we're going to have communion. So prepare your elements from wherever you are. And uh, God is going to do us good today. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I would like the keyboard to play a little bit so we can pray. We're going to pray, we're going to pray, we're going to pray. Jesus, 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 Jesus. I'm going to ask you to start praying in the spirit. Come on, come on church, start praying in the spirit. Hallelujah, hallelujah. It's your breath in our lives. Haya baba shoto korobo setete. Re baba setete re baba shoto korobo set. Come on, come on, come on. It's your spirit that give us life, God. Come on, come on. Let's clap our hands to the Lord. Come on, don't be shy now. From wherever you are, clap your hands, clap your hands. Oh, you people, shout out to God with a voice of triumph. Come on, come on, come on. The Lord has been good to you. The Lord has kept you. The Lord has covered you. The Lord has anointed you. The Lord has graced you. The Lord has embraced you. The Lord has loved over you. Give him praise, give him praise, give him praise. Give him praise, give him praise. Give him praise in the house of God. Give him praise for wherever you are. Give him praise in your bedroom. Give him praise in your living room. Give him praise in your car. Give him praise outside. Give him praise, give him praise. Because he is worthy to be praised. Come on, come on, come on. Don't be shy on me. He deserves our praise. He deserves our worship. He deserves our adoration. It's his breath in our life. So we pour out our heart, our praise to him. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. It is praise, it is praise, it is praise, it is praise. He is worthy, he is worthy, he is worthy, he is worthy. Hallelujah. 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 We give you praise, everlasting King. We give you praise, Prince of Peace.
Jesus. We give you praise, Lord of Lords. We give you praise, the God of the armies of heavens. We give you praise. We give you praise. Hallelujah. There's no God beside you. Who is like unto thee, O God? Glorious in holiness. Doing wonders always, God. Always remembering your children. Always remembering your servant. Always providing for us, God. Yes, it's your praise in our lungs. Father God, today is a new day. Today is a new season. It's a dawning of a new era in the spirit, God. It's a day, it's a year of manifestation of the grace of God, of the favor of the Lord upon his people. Father God, we give you praise, we give you praise. Manifest your glory. Manifest your glory in our midst, God. Manifest your glory in our hearts, God. Hallelujah. This month is a month of manifestation. Hallelujah. The manifestation of the works of God shall be on display in your life. The manifestation of the glory of God shall be on display in your life. God is always at work manifesting who he is in our lives. Amen. Hallelujah. We're going to go straight into the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We're going to go out of Ezekiel 37. Hallelujah. Today is a good day. Today is a great day. Today is a mighty day. Hallelujah. Today is the day like no other. This day is a day like no other. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I say today for me is a day like no other. Today for you is a day like no other. Listen to me. You follow me online. You need to declare it and believe it. Today is a day like no other for you. You take it and you receive it. Amen. Ah, Baba, Sototo. Today I'm gonna preach myself happy. I'm in on my pulpit, in my element, in the house of God, where I'm supposed to do preaching the, the gospel of, of the good news. Amen. Hallelujah. That's where I belong. Standing here. Hallelujah. Ezekiel 37, verse 1 says. The hand of the Lord came upon me and brought me out in the spirit of the Lord. Hallelujah. The hand of the Lord is upon somebody today. The hand of the Lord is upon somebody today. Today I'm not preaching to a dead choir. If you don't say yes in the spirit, I will hear you. So wake up, church. Wake up from wherever you are. I say today the hand of the Lord is upon somebody. Yes, 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 yes. The hand of the Lord came upon me, and he brought me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley, and it was full of bones. Then he caused me to pass by them all around, and behold, there were very many in the open valley, and indeed they were very dry. And he said to me, Son of man, can these bones live? Today God is speaking to you. Son of man, can these bones live? So I answered, oh Lord God, you know. Again he said to me, prophesy to these bones and say to them, oh dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. That says the Lord God to these bones. Surely I will cause breath to enter into you. Jesus. I feel the breath of God even now entering into somebody today. I will cause breath to enter into you. You shall live. I'll put sinews on you and bring flesh upon you. I will cover you with skin and put breath in you. And you shall live. Say, I shall live. I shall live. I shall live. I shall live. No matter what, I shall live. The breath of God is inside of me. You shall live. Ah, Yes, 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 you shall live. Then you shall know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I commanded. And as I prophesied, there was a noise. Say, there was a noise. I feel a noise in the spirit. A suddenly, a suddenly rattling. Suddenly a rattling. And the bones came together. 
Oh, shetete de de baba futukuru bo seteke. I feel like there was somebody was scattered. Somebody was scattered. But I feel the sound of the noise of the bones coming together in your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is a suddenly, a suddenly in your life today. Hallelujah. And the bones came together bone to bone. In that as indeed as I looked, praise the Lord. Indeed, as I looked, the sinews and flesh came upon me, and the skin covered them over, but there was no breath in them. Also, he said to me, prophesy to the breath, prophesy, son of man, and says to the breath, thus says the Lord God, come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe on this land that they may live. So I prophesied as I com it was commanded me. And breath came into me, and they lived and stood upon their feet, an exceeding army. Praise the Lord, Father God, we give you praise for this word. We thank you for the spirit of life that will come and manifest his glory in the life of your people today. Today, I prophesy, is a new day. It's a new day for somebody. Somebody is coming alive in this place. Somebody is becoming strong in this place. Somebody's vision is being restored in this place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You must see it in the spirit. You must see it in the spirit. You must see it in the spirit. Amen. Praise the Lord. So the Bible says that the hand of the Lord came upon prophet Ezekiel. The Lord came upon me and brought me out in the spirit of the Lord and sent me down in the midst of the valley. It reminded me 2016 when the Holy Spirit spoke to me and he said, go to Montreal and start a church. I remember moving there and I was, as I was moving, putting my, 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 uh, my, signing up my kid for school, buying furniture from the from, from the stores, getting ready to do the work that God has asked me to do. I remember I would drive around the city and I would keep telling people, I feel like there's something moving me. I don't feel like it's me moving around. I feel like there is a hand upon me. I'm like an automat going from place to place. Little did I know that the hand of the Lord was upon me. The hand of the Lord that took me from Calgary to Montreal to start a work was making me move around in a place that was tough and dry. When the hand of the Lord is upon you, he'll take a common man or woman, make them do things that they could never have done. The Bible said that the hand of the Lord was upon Elijah, and he outran the chariot of Ahab. He ran, out, out, he ran faster than the chariots of the king. When the hand of the Lord is upon you, he will give you supernatural strength to do what you cannot do in your own strength. He will give you the capacity and the ability to say and do things that you cannot do in your own strength. So I could feel that hand upon me as I'm driving my baby to school. A young woman who don't know nothing about starting a church. A young woman who's never done an apostolic work by herself. I could feel that hand upon my head. And I'll say, I feel it. It's not me. I feel like something is leading me. Something is guiding me. Little did I know it was the hand of the Lord. And came Sunday, right before our first service, during the morning hours, I felt the Spirit of God saying, Hey, these are the dry bones of Ezekiel. I said, praise the Lord. Thank you, God, for direction. And I stood up. And he said, prophesy now. Prophesy in this city. Prophesy in those dry bones for them to come alive. And I started prophesizing. I started prophesizing the wind of God. I started prophesizing the spirit of God. I started prophesizing that God would awaken this city. And little by little, one by one, I started prophesizing, saying, Mama is at home. I started calling each one of them. I said, come to Nouvelle Espoir, because this is your new hope. This city that has put you down. Come back, come my sons, come my daughters, and I will prophesy. I say, come home, mama is home. From whatever place you are, place of oppression, place of discouragement, place of depression, come to mama. 
That was my prophecy. I say, yes, I go in the spirit of a prophet, but I stand in front as a mother in Zion, calling the sons and the daughters of the Lord to wake up from a place of darkness. And one by one, they came. One by one, they came from nowhere. Nouvelle Espoir, are you following me? Listen to me. I call you by the spirit. I prophesy over your bones. And one by one, you are awakened. Now you are a strong army of the Lord. Go in that strength of the Lord, the hand of the Lord. When it comes upon an individual, the things they thought they couldn't do, they start doing it. When the hand of the Lord comes, the full strength of the Almighty fill you up so that you can accomplish what you cannot do in your hands. Hallelujah. So today the hand of the Lord is here. The Bible said that he took the prophet Ezekiel from where he was and carried him out. The Bible says, brought him out, carried him out, took him out. God is about to take you from where you are to where he wants you to see properly the vision of God upon your life. Hallelujah. He took the children of Israel out of Egypt. He brought them to the desert. Wherever he took you from, he took you from your Egypt and brought you to the desert and out of the desert into your promised land. Hallelujah. He said he brought them out of Egypt and led them into the wilderness. God is taking somebody out from Egypt to the wilderness, from the wilderness to the promised land. Amen. Some of you are saying, God, but I've been in the wilderness for too long. Nothing is working for me. Everything is tough, God. There's no breath left in me. God, how long this wilderness will last? Father God, what are you going to do? Why are you keeping me in this wilderness? I'm suffering and suffering for real. God, I can't take it anymore. God says in Deuteronomy 8, 16, that he fed you in the wilderness with manna that your fathers did not know so that he might humble you and test you so that he can do you good in the end. God has kept you in your wilderness. It seems like it's been forever because he wants to humble you. He wanted you to depend fully on God. He didn't give you the fullness of what he spoke over you because God said, I wanted to test you. Now I wanted to see how humble you are. I want to see how dependent are you, God, to me, God. God says, but now. I said, but now, but now, I'm about to bring you into your promised land. Amen. Amen. The Bible said, do not put your confidence in powerful people. Do not put your confidence in the, in the great of this world. Do not put your confidence in the economy of this world. Do not put your confidence... Hallelujah. In the health system of this world. Do not put your confidence. Hallelujah. Because he says what? Do not put your confidence. Psalm 146 verse 3 to 7. Do not put your confidence in powerful people. There is no help for you there. In this season we can see there is no help for us there. Coronavirus came to show us there is no help there. There are the powerful people, those who think they have control over the affairs of men on this earth. God said, do not put your hope in that. There is no help there. Yes, come on, clap your hands. There's no help there. Hallelujah. There's no help there. God has showed us 2020 that whatever we have put our hope on, there is no help there. One virus has affected the whole economy of the world in less than one month. Do not put your hope there because there is no help there. There is no help for you there. God is reminding you, whatever you're looking for, there's no help for you there. Wherever you're going, there's no help for you there. For when they breathe their last, they return to the earth. And all their plants die with them. 
Every plans of this world has been put to nil, to zero. Hallelujah. A virus, a pandemic has messed up a whole system of this world. There's no help for us there. There's no help for us there. There's no help for me there. But the Bible says, but joyful are those who have the God of Israel as their helper. I said joyful are them who have the God of Israel as their helper. Whose hope is in the Lord, their God. Your hope in this dark place, in this dark time, is in the God of Israel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He made heaven and earth. God is reminding us he is still God over this earth. He has made heaven and earth, the sea and everything in them. And he keeps every promise forever. He gives justice to the oppressed and food to the hungry. The Lord frees the prisoners. God is supposed to show you something today. He said, he took me in the midst of the valley and set me there. And he made me turn around and around and around. Because you see, when God wants to bring deliverance to you, he must bring you to show you how your state is at. How, where is your position at? Because when God wants to do a miracle, he wants the glory to go to him alone. So do not be afraid to go to that place of brokenness. Do not be afraid to show to God your your pain and your sorrow. Because he must show you, he must bring you there. You must assess your brokenness, not because he's judging you, but because he's about to do a work in your life. Are you hearing me today? People of God, are you hearing me today? He said he took me in the valley and made me see all the dry bones. Sometimes in the valleys, that's where you get your encounters with God. The ways of the Lord are not normal. What looks like not God sometimes, it is God. What looks like it's not working sometimes, it is God. Amen? He is the God of the valley. Though I walk through the valley of the shadows of death, I have hope in the dark because my God is with me. His rod and his staff is comforting me. Are you hearing me today? He is the God of the valley. Encounters with God. They are not in happy places. Encounters with God are in the dark places. That's why I know in this darkness we're going through, the hope of God, the spirit of God is about to come and shine because we are in the valley. Valley of tough decision. Valley of not, not knowing what to do. Valley of hoping that somebody, something may come through. God said, when you walk through the valleys of coronavirus, when you walk through the valley of financial pressure, when you walk through the valley of divorce, relational failures, when you go through the valley, what emotional breakdown. He said, there's hope because he is with me. His rod and his staff comforts me. Oh, I'm preaching myself happy. Are you hearing me? The Spirit of God is saying, look, 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 turn around. He said, he made me turn around, around all these bones, and those bones were dry indeed. Ah, I've had some dry bones in my life. In the last few years, God made me walk around my dry bones. Some of them were very dry. You see, sometimes when you believe God for a long time, you lose strength. Sometimes you're like, God, 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 God. I don't know anymore. You know what? I choose to say, kiss, Sarah, Sarah. Whatever will be, will be. For my own sake and my emotional stability, I choose to accept these dry bones in my life. Say, God, I'm going to live with it. I'm going to accept to live with it. God said, no, 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 just look at them. They are very dry and very dry. And the Bible said that, and he says to me, son of man, can these bones live? God is asking you, can these bones live? I 
And Ezekiel, like all of us, tired and overwhelmed, looking at the situation of our lives, looking, nothing is changing, say, God, you know. I look at this, I've been there all my life. I don't know, but you know. Can these bones live? This is the question God is asking you today. You look at your bones in your life. God is saying, can these bones live? And he says, I don't know, God. I don't know, God. You know. And again, he said to me, prophesy to these bones. You see, the Bible says in Proverbs 17, 22, a broken spirit dry up the bones. When your spirit has been broken, time and time and time, your bones start drying up. But today, God wants to, to, to awaken in you so that your bones can be full of fire again. Like the prophet said, there's fire shut up in my bones. God wants to position and restore your structure so you can rise up again. So you can rise up again. You know, we know how to speak the prophetic talk. We know how to declare the word of God, but sometimes our bones are, you know, sometimes we do things out of habit, but our bones are so dried up. Yes, God is good, praise the Lord, but you're dying, you're broken, broken, broken. Things have been hard on you. Life has been tough on you. People have mistreated you. People have oppressed you. People have abused you. Yes, you become an, like an automatic being. You just say God is good all the time, but inside of you, your bones are dry. And they are very dry. He said to me, prophesy to these bones and say to them, O oh, dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God to these bones, surely I will cause breath to enter you and you shall live. Hallelujah. I will put sinners on you and bring flesh upon you, cover you with skin and put breath in you and you shall live. I say, you shall live. You shall live. You shall live. You shall not die. You will declare the glory and the works of the Lord. You shall say again that the bones that you have broken will rejoice again. The bones that you have broken is rejoicing again. Am I talking to somebody? The Bible says in Psalm 35, verse 9 to 10, Then my soul will rejoice in the Lord, exulting in salvation. All my bones shall say, not just my tongue, not just my mouth, ah, yeah, ba, ba, ba. even the very structure of my being will say, Oh, Lord, who is like you? You are the hope in my darkness. Who is like you? All your bones shall prophesy. All your bones shall declare. All your bones shall speak of the goodness of the Lord. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Because he that you served, you minister to, he is faithful. His name is faithful. Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Revelation, Then I saw heaven open, and a white horse was standing there. Its rider was named Faithful and True. Faithful is his name. His truth is faithful. The Bible says, for he judges fearly and wages a righteous war. God is waging a righteous war for you. God is bringing into your valley because he wants to wage a righteous war for you. He's about to bring justice in your situation. He's about to bring hope in your darkness, light in your darkness. He's about to wage war against what the enemy has done against you. God is about to rise up and bring war and bring vengeance in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive it if it's for you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord on oh my soul. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible says, Life and death and life are in the power of the tongue. And those who love it will eat its fruit. So God spoke to Ezekiel. God is speaking to you today. Son of man, prophesize. He said, life is in your tongue. 
prophesize. Just do what I'm asking you. Prophesize. Do I have some prophetic people in this house today? God said, prophesize, prophesize, prophesize. Yes, you have seen your brokenness. Yes, you have seen your situation. Yes, you see the damages over your life. Yes, you see the bones are dry they are. Yes, you see that there is no hope for you. But God said, prophesize, prophesize, prophesy. Because life is in your tongue. Life is in your declaration. God is saying, prophesize. I give you power to prophesy. Speak life into your darkness. Hallelujah. He said, prophesy. He said, oh, dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. That says the Lord God to these bones. Surely I will cause breath to enter into you. Today I want you to look at your bones, at your situation in your life. And say, that says the Lord, hear the word of the Lord. Surely. I will cause bread to enter you, says the Lord. Hallelujah. This word was so profound for me. Last night at 11.30, I told my Aisha, Aisha, wake up, let's go. I said, let's go for a drive. I said, let's go. She's like, mommy, where are we going? I said, just let's go. 11.30 p.m., actually 11.15, I had to put gas and everything. I, she, I said, let's go. She said, Mommy, where are we going? I said, we're going to STS, Society of Treatment of Autism. And, and she said, but Amadou is sleeping. I said, I know. He doesn't need to be up. I said, let's just drive. I said, I'm going to prophesy, Aisha. I'm going to prophesy for my son to speak. He's like, but Mommy, he speaks. But yes, but I want you to speak just like you do now. I said, let's go. And I went. Because I heard the word of the Lord. Because my bones were coming back to life again. And I went and I said, exactly at midnight. Because this is the day of the favor of the Lord. I got there. I got there 11.58. And I said, said God, at midnight, I'm going to prophesy. I'm going to prophesy every word of God that you have spoken over my son. I'm going to prophesy the promises of God over my son. I prophesy. I, I stood in the parking. I, I, I just said, but we're going to be loud. I said, don't worry, we won't be loud, baby. Nobody will hear us. I say, hear the word of the Lord, my son, wherever you are. For that says the Lord. Soto. I said, that says the Lord, my prophet, rise up. This is your calling. This is your destiny. That says the Lord, Amadou, you were born to prophesy and to speak the word of the Lord. I said, that says the Lord, hear the word of the Lord. This is your season of manifestation, my son. I said the bones that were broken, the hopeless that's in you, it's over my son in the mighty name of Jesus. I said that says the Lord, spirit of autism over my son. Today is the year of the favor of the Lord. I release the captive from prison. I said my son, I release you from the cage of autism. I release you from the brokenness of disability. I say hear the word of the Lord. My son, thus says the Lord, you shall stand and touch many white and black. The word of the Lord over you was prophesied in the womb of your mother that you will speak to many, that signs and wonders shall follow you. You will touch white and black. Thus says the Lord, my son, come out of your bondage because God has set you free. And I prophesy, and I prophesy. And I prophesy Isaiah 61, the spirit of the sovereign God is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the good news to the poor. He has sent me to relieve the captive from prison. He has sent me to bring hope in the darkness, to declare the vengeance of our God. The spirit of God has anointed me to bring you good news, to tell you you are free. Hallelujah. Prophesy. And I prophesy. At 12.08, I say, God, I'm done. And I start singing, these are the days of Elijah. 
preparing the word of the Lord, declaring the word of the Lord. These are the days of his servant Moses, righteousness being restored. These are the days, these are the days of Ezekiel, dry bones coming back again. Yes, these are the days of David rebuilding the temple of praise. These are the days, mark my word, the spirit of sovereign God is here in this place. He's just asking me to prophesy, prophesy. I'm a prophesizing a new season in your life. I'm prophesizing hope in the darkness. I'm prophesizing salvation. I'm prophesizing, you know what, the bones didn't have here, but God said, say to these bones. I don't know what it is, your bones still hear the voice of your maker. Say, say to these bones, prophesy, prophesy. Come on, prophesy. Look at me. This is somebody who just has been made alive because I prophesied to my life. I said, No more. For the Spirit of God has made me, and the breath of the Almighty gives me life. Hallelujah. The Spirit of God has made us. And the breath of the Almighty gives life. Psalm 104, verse 30, the Bible says, When you release spirit wind, life is created, ready to replenish life upon the earth. Spirit wind, God said, prophesy now to the winds. Prophesy the Almighty wind of God. The spirit of the living God. You see the thing with the wind. You don't feel it. You don't see it. But you start seeing actions. You start seeing fruits. Today, the Bible said the boom started boom, 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 boom. One by one, boom, 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 boom. Ah, every bone in my body is taking a shape. Araba said every bones, every dry bones is coming alive. No more dryness, no matter how long those bones have been dry in your life. Amen. Just prophesy. And I prophesy as I was spoken. And I say, wind of God, come and put life back in every dead area of our lives. Wind of God, come and put life back in cross point fellowship. Wind of God, come and put life God in the finances of our people, in the relations of our people. Wind of God, come and bring your healing anointing, Father God. Wind of God, come and bring your restoration. Wind of God, come and blow upon your people. Blow upon your people. Let the bones that was broken rejoice again. Here's the hope in our darkness. Here's the hope in our darkness. Hallelujah. The Bible is clear. And as he's prophesied, everything started to come together. Hallelujah. You see, there was a process. He said, prophesy his life first. Bone upon bone. Two, two, two. Boom, boom, boom. I prophesied two weeks ago over my life. And I could feel in my spirit, boom, boom. I felt it in my spirit. I'm like, oh, I'm coming back to life. No more of being overwhelmed and tired. No more. This life has been heavy for me. Situation has been overwhelming. I say 22 years is too long, God. My bones are dry. And God was waiting for me to say, just prophesy. And here I'm waiting, God, do something. God, I'm tired. God, give me grace to pastor this church. God, I'm so overwhelmed. God is like, come on, come on. The same power I gave you to obey me until now. The same grace I gave you to obey me. Why you laid down your life for me? The same grace I'm giving you to come back again to life. Hallelujah. The same power that raised Christ from the death is in you. To prophesy to your life. Prophesy to your dry bones so that they can come back again. And I felt life again coming in me. I felt life again coming. I felt strength again coming in me. And today it's going to happen to you. Just prophesize, prophesize, prophesize. 
Hallelujah. And the army came alive. Praise the Lord. Stand up in the presence of God. You're about to see things you've never seen before. You're about to see the manifestation of the hand of God as you've never seen before. You are about to come alive. Have you never been alive before? Thank you, Jesus. We're going to take communion. Today is Resurrection Sunday because God is bringing every bones to life. God is bringing every hope back to life. God is bringing you around. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 1 Corinthians 11, 23, 26. Get your elements ready. Hallelujah. This is proof of what God has accomplished in Calvary. This is your hope in the dark. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 1 Corinthians 11, 23, 26. For I received from the Lord that which also I delivered to you. That the Lord Jesus on the same night in which he was betrayed, he took bread. And when he gave thanks, he broke it. And he said, take it. This is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Hallelujah. He is the bread of life that's been broken for you and me to give us life. The Bible says if you eat of the bread of life that comes from heaven, you will never die again, but you shall live. Today, there is resurrection power in this bread. Father God, we give you praise as we partake. Every bone is coming to life. The spirit of life is bringing the wind of the spirit to every muscle, to every spiritual lung. Father God, the structure of your body, of your church, is standing strong again. You're bringing moisture in those bones, God. You're bringing the fire of your spirit in those bones. We give you praise, everlasting King. For the bread of life that comes from heaven. Let's partake of the bread of life. Hallelujah. In the same manner, he also took the cup after supper saying, This cup is a new covenant in my blood. This do as you, often as you drink it. He says, unless you eat of my flesh and drink my blood, you have no part of me. Father God, we give you praise because we're drinking. This is a new covenant you have made with your children. A covenant of hope, a covenant of peace. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death till he comes. Father God, we proclaim your death, God. We proclaim, Father God, you are the hope in our world. You are the hope over this country, over this nation, over the world, God. We thank you because you have renewed your covenant with your people, mighty God. As we partake of the blood, we are apart from you, God. Let every life that was in you be manifest in us, mighty God. Let the Spirit of God work in us and through us for your glory. Let's partake of the blood of Jesus. God, we give you praise. We thank you, everlasting King. Today, I want you to start prophesizing. God has shown you where your dry bones are. Today, I want you to be the prophet of your own life, the prophet of your own destiny. Stand up wherever you are and speak to those dry bones. Hallelujah. And as for me yesterday, 
When God asks, can these bones live? I say, God, yes, I know these bones can live. Because this is our confidence that we have in him. That if we ask anything in his name, he's faithful to answer us. This is our confidence that his promises are yes and amen in our lives. His name is faithful. Whatever he has spoken over your life, he say yes and amen. Now prophesize. Prophesize. God is saying prophesize. 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 Today I give you praise God. God, I gave you a word of truth this morning. I thank you for life, for light in the darkness is coming. I thank you, Father God, for an awakening of your body, of your church, God. To rise up in the midst of darkness and to declare the word of the Lord. I prophesy an awakening of the fivefold ministry today. That will rise up and speak your word of truth. That will be the light in the darkness. Father God, a city of the hill cannot be hidden. God, we are the light in the darkness, Father God, in this season of corona, Father God, in this season of pandemic, Father God. Your church is the light in this darkness. God, we prophesy an awakening, an awakening, mighty God, of your servants, of your daughters, of your sons. For the earth is mourning, is just crying, God, for the manifestations of the sons of God. Father God, we give you praise because your sons are rising up. With a new song of victory, Father God. They are riding on white horses like you in victory, Father God, to wage war in righteousness, mighty God, to bring light in this darkness. I prophesy the move of God, mighty God, in this earth that will come and shake the earth. The harvest is ripe, Father God. I prophesy, Father God, an arising of men and God who will go out and declare the word of God. I prophesy of a prophetic army of God who will rise up, who will speak to prepare the way of the Lord. I prophesy evangelists, apostles, prophets, mighty God, Pastors, teacher, mighty God, by the word of the Lord who will rise up and speak your truth, mighty God. I prophesy the move of God. Come, all spirit of the living God, and breathe. Let your spirit wind breathe upon this earth. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen, amen. God bless you. We will see you next Sunday. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.